welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another holiday makeup look. This one is going to be kind of a classic red lip kind of look. I've got a really shimmery kind of white gold eye going on and I think this is a perfect look for the holidays. I think it's like quintessential holiday glamour look. I'm using a lot of new products that I recently picked up in this video but yeah I will have a haul, a pretty substantial haul coming very soon for you guys but I'm waiting on some things to come in the mail to film that video. Also this video is a collab with my friend Nelly here on YouTube. If you guys aren't subscribed to her already, you absolutely need to be. Her channel is amazing, her makeup skills are incredible, and I love her videos so much. And she's super sweet and we've become really good friends and I love her. So if you guys haven't checked out her channel already, please do so. So we're both going to be doing kind of holiday glamour looks. And I'll try to insert a, either a picture or a clip of Nelly's look right here so you guys can see what she's cooked up for you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're here from Nelly's channel, then please stay a while. Please click the subscribe button down below. The rest of this video is going to be a voiceover, so I will talk to you later. I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, my loves. Hi ladies, so we're going to start off with the eyes already primed using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer. Then we're going to jump into the original Naked palette, which the packaging is disgusting. It always gets so dirty. But we're going to take the first shade Naked on an E35 brush and we're going to use this as our transition shade. There really aren't too many eyeshadows um, in this look, but you do want to define the crease. So we're going to start off with this transition shade to kind of buff throughout the crease and make a nice kind of blendy transition shade. So once that is on, we're going to actually take this shade called Buck which is the other matte shade in the palette. And this is a little bit deeper so I'm going to put it on an E25 brush and we're going to blend this into the crease to further define the eyes. So basically what we're doing with this look is we just really want to define the eyes and then put that glitter on top once the crease is defined. So we're going to buff this through the crease to kind of make the shape of the eye a little bit nicer. So we're gonna put that there to deepen up the crease. Then I'm gonna quickly take this shade called Virgin on a small shader brush and just pop that under the brow bone as our brow bone highlight. I chose a shimmery shade to just kind of bring some light to the eyes. Not that the glitter wouldn't do that already. But yeah, now we're gonna take this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and pop this on the eyes to stick that glitter down to. This stuff is so amazing. Like seriously, it just makes the glitter go on so much differently than anything else I've ever used. Um, yeah, it just like is incredible. Now we're gonna take Stila Magnificent Metal Eyeshadow in the shade Metallic Pixie Dust. And we're just gonna pop this on the lids with our fingers. You can use a brush if you want, but I think using your fingers gets the best pigmentation out of these products so I'm gonna use my finger and um, this shade is just incredible like I look at it and I just think of like a white Christmas because it's like nice and white with like a gold sheen through it and like a little bit of pink I don't know it's just incredible and I loved it and I had to use it for a holiday look so I'm just patting that all over the lid and then I'm gonna take the blending brush again and kind of run it through the crease to brush away any extra glitters so once that is done we're gonna take our L'Oreal voluminous smoldering eyeliner as I always do. I'm going to use this just to tight line my eyes to make our lashes look nice and full for when we put on mascara and falsies and all that good stuff. So once that is done I'm actually going to do a nice winged liner with my NYC liquid eyeliner in the shade black. This is definitely my new favorite liquid eyeliner. It is so amazing. I just I feel like I do my eyeliner so much quicker with this product than any other product ever and it dries nice and matte which is exactly what I want in an eyeliner. I hate glossy eyeliners. They just like, ugh, I just don't like them. So now we're going to pump our eyelashes with an eyelash curler just a little to make our falsies blend better. And then I'm going to coat my lashes with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Just bought this and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'll let you guys know later on. I definitely have to try it alone before I make that decision. But then I'm going to put on these Miss Adoro number 217 eyelashes with my Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. Once that is done, we're going to move on to the face. I'm first going to prime with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, which is actually a recommendation from my friend Nelly. I bought this because she raves about it all the time and I have to say it's like pretty awesome. So once that is on, I'm going to go on with my foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm just going to pop that on with my flat top kabuki brush. I did like two layers of this because I wanted a really nice full coverage and it builds really nicely so you won't have any problem with like it looking cakey if you do two layers. It looks really, really gorgeous. So I did that and then once that was done, I decided to highlight and conceal with this 
bare mineral stroke of light um, thing. I don't really know what it, I think it's like a concealer illuminator combo. I just bought it and I have to say I really like it. But I think next time I'm gonna have to use a concealer to cover up my dark circles more just because I have really bad dark circles and I feel like it didn't have enough pigmentation to conceal and highlight at the same time. But I do really like it. Just blended that out with my beauty blender. Then we're gonna set under my eyes and just lightly dust my whole face with the Makeup Forever HD powder. You want to use a very tiny bit of this because you will get a weird flashback um, in flash photography if you use a lot of it. I've learned that the hard way in videos. <laughs> then I'm going to take my Benefit Hula bronzer and the brush that came with it and I'm just, just going to contour my face. Seriously, if you don't want to spend money on a NARS Eda brush that's $55, then just go pick yourself up a Hula bronzer and you'll get a mini version and you'll get an awesome bronzer. So I'm just contouring my face with that and then I'm going to take this Becca blush called Damn so fly and pop that on the cheeks. This is seriously such a gorgeous blush. Like I'm in love with it. It's a new favorite. It's so pretty and they're like so blendable and smooth and amazing. But yeah, I'm just popping that on the cheeks and then we're going to highlight my face with Becca's Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector, which is obviously a favorite of like the entire world, but seriously, it's beautiful. You need it in your life. So you want to just pop that on all the places you usually highlight. So down the bridge of the nose, cheekbones, cupid's bow, chin, forehead, all that good stuff. And then after that, I'm going to take that metallic pixie dust shadow again on that short shader brush and just highlight the inner corner. I decided to do this to kind of add a little more holiday sparkle to the entire look and I think it turned out fabulous. So you're just going to pop that on the inner corner. Then I'm going to take Buck on this small crease brush. I'm just going to run that on my lower lashes just to give a little bit of depth down there just to kind of balance the eye. Nothing too serious but we do want a little bit of shading down there. So I'm just buffing that out nicely. And then I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow pencil from Urban Decay in the shade Sin and I'm just going to line my waterline with that to kind of bring some light to the eyes and um, just make it look kind of festive on the waterline rather than just a nude, like a matte nude. And then we're going to coat my lashes with some mascara just to finish up the eyes. Once that is done, we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to use the MAC Riri Woo lip liner to line my lips. Obviously, you can use any lip liner, red lip liner that you have on hand, but I had this one and I hadn't used it in a while, so I decided to use it. And I sped this part up because it took me forever to do my lip liner because I wanted a really, really nice, crisp, clean line. So it took me quite a bit of time, but definitely take your time on this step because it pays off in the end when your lips are perfected. So once that is on, we're actually going to take this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Underage Red. This is seriously like my favorite thing for the holidays ever. It is the most gorgeous cherry red liquid lipstick. Dries completely matte stays on all day. It's just incredible. I love it. You need it in your life. I definitely need to get more shades of these Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. And then I'm just going to clean up the edges with a little bit of my foundation on a concealer brush just to perfect the lip line. Once you do that, you're basically done with the whole look. I hope you guys like this. Remember to check out Nellie's video and subscribe to her channel. If you're here from her channel, hello, nice to meet you. I would love you to stay a while and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.